Hi guys, now we're going to take a look at building a small form inside one of our web pages. We're going to start off building a small login form just like this one here. Okay, I'll show you the live view. Okay, so submit button. All working pretty well. Now, believe it or not, this is actually quite easy. All I've got here is a little bit of CSS styling my form itself, styling my inputs and my submit button. Okay, a tiny little bit of CSS and my source code is just that. That is it. Okay, it's a very small amount of code and Dreamweaver helps us do this uh, work quite easily. I'm going to just take this out now and you'll recognize this, okay? This is exactly what uh, some of the other tutorials uh, built, what we built in the other tutorials. So I'm going to come just above my heading three. Now, once my code starts getting a little bit big um, and I wanna find a certain spot within the code to start working, I just highlight something in my um, split view here in the actual design view and it will highlight it in my code so I'm going to start here, I'm going to pop in uh, a form tag and a closing form tag, simple. And inside my form, I'm going to add some inputs. Now in the insert panel, we can change uh, from HTML or favorites or whatever it is you're currently using, we can choose form. And I'm just going to pop in uh, a, an email input And I'm also going to pop in a password input. Okay, I'm going to have a look at my design and you can see what I've got. Pretty good. Okay. Okay, so that's working pretty well. Um, now, when we do this, sometimes depending on what you've clicked, you may get labels automatically put in. Um, we need to manually put in labels. Okay, so the label. Email, okay. And I'm gonna put a label in for the password as well. And there we have it. Now, uh, depending on your CSS, you may be getting a different look. So I'm going to take out this small amount of CSS. I might just leave the input type submit one there because I want to talk about that with you shortly. Now, when I'm working with CSS, what I like to do is I like to segregate uh, different CSS selectors. If I'm working on um, inputs or forms, I like to put this little comment in just for my own um, ease of use later on. Okay, so if you're not sure how to do that, you can copy the CSS document uh, comment at the top, paste it in and change it to say whatever you want to say, okay? Like so. All right, so you might have something that looks a bit like this. Not too good, right? Not too good, that's okay. Um, once we put a submit button into our code, we will fix all this up. So I'm gonna highlight this again in the source code view and I'm going to pop in a submit button. Now it's doing a lot of work for us as you can see. Uh, now we've got a submit button, okay? Yours might look slightly different, don't worry about that. Now we really need to do a little bit of styling here. Um, as we looked at in the W3C video on creating forms, I'm going to uh, get my inputs to display as block elements. So I'll do that first, input, display, block. 
and that'll fix that up a little bit, okay? Now I need a heading inside my form, so I'm gonna go back to my form here and I'm going to put in a heading three, login. Okay, great. Now we're getting somewhere. Um, I can also target the form itself. So I'm going to say form, I'll give this a background color, a simple background color, and I'm gonna give it some padding as well because I want, um, you'll, I'll show you what it'll look like without me putting some padding in. And this stuff sort of sits right on the edge like that, not too good. So it just needs a little bit of padding. And I'm going to give it, if I give it 20 pixels all the way around, it may look okay. There's a bit too much at the top, I don't like it. I want my login form to be nice and small, so um, around the clock we're going to go. All right, I can put four values in, that's CSS short code. The first value is the top, um, or north, or the top of a clock as I like to think of it, and then 3 p.m. Six p.m. and nine p.m. Uh, there is even shorter code we can use than that, but for our purposes, that will do. Okay, so now we're looking pretty good, pretty neat and tidy. Uh, let's have a look in live view. The submit button may look like it's not styling properly. Uh, don't worry about that; it should work okay in the browser. All right, but now we've got a nice little login form that's easily identifiable to our user when they load the page, and as you can see, it's extremely easy to do. Now, I want to pay you to pay particular attention to this here. This is uh, how we target a submit button or any other type when we want to when we want to style it slightly differently uh, to other input elements. Okay, so just notice that we have um, our little our square brackets here with type equals in it. All right, now that prevents us having to create a class for the element and target the class. Look, there's nothing wrong with doing that. If that's how you've been doing things up till now, you can continue doing that. That's absolutely fine. Um, I think my form could look a little bit better. Just change a couple of little things here. Might put some padding uh, on my input elements, just a little bit, five pixels say, and maybe just give it a bit more width as well. See how that looks. Yeah, not too bad. Might change this to six pixels. And my submit button needs to be given a width now. Okay, so. All right, that looks pretty good. Okay, I'm happy with that for now. Uh, might see how this looks in a browser for a moment. I'll just save it first. Okay, that's pretty good. Pretty happy with that. Okay, so that's how it looks. Um, very neat and tidy, very simple. You've got access to forms via Moodle that are quite useful. They have drop down um, or select tags in them. Might quickly look at a couple of those as well, just whilst we're uh, whilst we're looking at forms. So underneath my input type password, I'm going to add a select. Select, okay, and that does very little on its own. It's just two select tags, but this is how we build a simple drop-down list. And then we will put in an option. And anything that goes inside an option becomes an option to the user. Very simple, okay. Now I'm gonna duplicate this.
Okay, and you'll see we have this lovely little drop down box here. And we'll just see what that looks like in the browser for a moment. Okay, so there you have it. Simple form example. Uh, remember to keep referencing W3C if you're not sure. Have a play around with the elements there so you're not um, breaking your work. You can just try adding bits and pieces, clicking the try it yourself button. Um, hope you find this helpful, guys. I'm just going to take this select out because it wouldn't really be in a login form like this. And yeah, that's it. Pretty simple.